Ce qui se passe sur la terre va avoir des conséquences sur la mer. Et ce que l'on ressent sur la mer va arriver sur la terre. Le Blue Climate Summit, qui commence dès aujourd'hui, est l'opportunité pour nous, peuple de l'océan, peuple océanien, de vous démontrer que nous sommes des territoires d'opportunités et de solutions. I think that we have not only ignored the ocean, dumped our waste in it, treated it like a, a garbage pit for, for decades. So the real question is, how do we change that dialogue? And for me, this conference is a chance to learn from indigenous communities, to learn from practices that have evolved on small islands, on communities that have been dependent on the ocean. L'objectif premier, c'est d'éduquer l'être humain. Parce que si on veut si on veut atténuer ou si on veut éliminer la pollution, il faut éduquer l'être humain parce que ce qui est le premier pollué, c'est l'être humain. Uh, for me, Tahiti is the logical place to hold a summit uh, uh, for the Blue Climate Initiative. Uh, many people say Tahiti, well, that's the that's the middle of nowhere, and to which I reply. On the contrary, it's the center of everywhere. We have a chance to hold the planet steady if we take seriously the objective of maintaining the natural systems that are still working. Old growth forests, places in the ocean that we know are really representative of, of what the world was before we consumed so much of it. The last thing we should consider doing is going into the deep sea and undertaking anything that is going to disrupt it. In the last 250 years, too much of the world gave it up. They forgot. But in Kaikinui, you do not forget, and we're grateful. We're honored to be here.